Hello there guys, welcome back to the video blog, The Hoxton Trend. we just come back from Berlin as well, so you saw uh, Q&A videos out there just a few days ago. Just surpassed 200 subscribers, super chuffed about that. I know it's not 1,000 or 500 subscribers, but you know what? If there's 200 people that are happy watching the videos that I'm doing and it's helping peeps out, then it's all good. I'm happy about that. So thanks again for the support guys, much appreciated, okay? So um, what I'm going to show you today guys real quick is fake versus real video from Montclair. Um, I've got some jackets in. One of them I've specifically got in because I know it's a fake. I got the jacket from eBay. It's not for me to sell. It's simply to do this review and it's going to go straight back to eBay afterwards. The other jacket I've got in, I've sourced and it's a genuine jacket. It's got all the original features. It's got the 30 logo. It's got everything. So it's a genuine jacket, 100%. So guys, again, as I always do, just wanted to quickly show you what type of videos, um, sorry, what type of items can be found online, especially I know a lot of guys are buying Montclair on eBay. A lot of people have been asking me how do I spot fakes. So this particular jacket was from eBay and I'm going to show you how to spot the fake, okay? So quick test here guys, what jacket is real? The one on the right or the one on the left, okay? What do you think guys? What one is real? Got this one in, got this one here as well, okay? Show you guys the inside as well. So this is the inside of one of the jackets. Is this one the genuine one? Is that one the, uh, is that a genuine jacket? That's the inside of the jacket there. Got the size and label and everything. And this is another one, so it's uh, definitely looks like it could be one of the realer ones. What do you think, guys? Okay. Even got the 30 logo on there. Got the badge as usual. What do you think? So guys, a lot of you now that have been following my videos, you'll be able to tell straight away which ones are fake, which ones are real, or probably you just know it already because you're an expert like that. Or And some of you won't be able to tell. So to put you out of your misery real quick, just to let you know, the one that's fake, ta-da, happens to be this burgundy one over here, okay? Um, what actually happened, guys, is I was just looking on the eBay, just having a browse, just seeing what's up on there, as I usually do, and I came across this, and I could see straight away that it was a fake, so I said, let me get this in so I can show you guys what exactly is going on, okay? So as you can see, this one came with the Lampo zips there. Um, looking at these Lampo zips, I don't think I've ever seen Lampo zips with the free... You can see here it's got three little kind of notches. Three notches on the end. I don't think I've ever seen them with three notches like that, to be honest with you. And the Lampo looks a little bit, the Lampo looks a little bit big. But you know, to the untrained eye, that's gonna look like a genuine Lampo. And to be fair, if this came on a real jacket, I wouldn't question it. I would think it was a real Lampo, because it just looks really well done. Um, one of the other things I noticed is that on the, uh, on the tags that hang from the buttons, they've got the engraving there, but if you look on the other side, they've only engraved one side and the other side has not been engraved, as you can clearly see there. Um, just like that. Okay, so this one, they haven't got a Mon Montclair sign on there. Okay, the other thing that I noticed straight away as well, guys, is if you look at the Montclair badge, it's got XO in there, guys. And if you've seen one of my fake versus real videos, or if you've seen my how to spot a fake Montclair video, um, I'm going to put a little clip up here so you can see, and you can click on there if you, if you haven't seen it. Montclair jackets never come with small, medium, large, extra large, double XL. They always come with the one, two, three. They always come with zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? You'll never see a jacket with um, small, large, medium, large, extra large, blah, 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 okay? Um, now, you do see that in the, um, in the jumpers or hoodies or tracksuits. You won't find the number sizing system there. You will find the, um, um, the uh, letter sizing system small medium large extra large but it's never in a black label like that so this looks a bit bait so if you come across any jackets with this xl 
or a large or small just like this with the black tag it even looks out of place with the white and the black as well but if you see that guys then it's a fake okay so that's one thing to spot um, the other thing as well which led me to believe there's a problem with the jacket was there was no Montclair arm badge but in saying that I've got a few jackets which don't have the Montclair arm badge so that's not necessarily a way to spot whether a jacket is fake or not because I've got one or two jackets which don't have that okay I've actually got a jacket on e eBay called the Mekong and it doesn't have the arm badge so it doesn't mean that's a fake um, as you can see here what they've managed to do here is they have managed to put the Fiocchi on the back of the uh, zip there look so again I've showed videos where I'm trying to show you guys how to spot a fake and the rules have the Fiocchi and you can see this one has as well so the counterfeiters have managed to have managed to put that up on there um, they've even managed to and I'm looking at it it's not very well done They've even managed to put Montclair, engrave Montclair on the back of the press studs. So you look at that, try and see if I can see one on the, on the other jacket. This one doesn't have any buttons, so that might not, not be the, one of the better ones to do it. Let's have a look at that Zin. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, so if we look here. Try and show you the differences between those two. Right, so if you look on the Montclair, if you look at this one on the right, the writing looks a lot more clearer. They all look the same size. But if you look at the one on the left, you can see that it's quite small. It's not very well done. The L looks a bit off. The R looks a bit too small. I mean, again, to the untrained eye, if you didn't have this one here and you just had that, it would be very hard to tell. But you can see there that there's a, there is a bit of a difference, and this one is notably smaller as well. Okay, and this the writing on this one's a bit more rounded off, whereas the writing on this one's a bit more square. Okay, guys. Um, the other thing, as always, what I try to show you guys, one of the first things that I try to show you is the comparisons between the how the cartoon logo should be. Okay, guys. Um, if you look at this cartoon logo on the top, you can see it's quite bright quite bright compared to the bottom one which is quite faded and even on here you can see that very 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 randomly and very stupidly of the counterfeits is they've totally forgotten they've run a, a thread line straight through the badge I mean how silly can you get so that's that's clearly not right there okay guys so that's that so this one quite quite bright uh, colors are very striking and there's in, there's an inconsistency here because there's a tread thread mark going right through so we know that that one's a fake because of that well whereas the genuine one doesn't have any thread running through it's very slightly faded as i always show you guys um annoying thing about this one is they have actually got the 30 logo number as you can see there now the interesting thing is the 30 logo number is meant to have three numbers in red and I think it's three numbers in blue and then three numbers in red again whereas this one's got five numbers in the middle so that doesn't look right let me just check that that's correct what I'm saying okay tell a lie it's actually six but this one's got five I knew the numbers didn't look right oh tell a lie it's okay so yeah made a mistake there guys it, it has got six numbers in the middle um, Top one's the fake, bottom one's the original. You can see the check now is a lot more thicker than the check now of the original. I mean, to be honest, if you if you saw this and you didn't have the original to compare, it would be very, very difficult for you to, to spot, okay? Very difficult. But the check now and the numbers are a lot bigger. They look a lot bigger than the... Um, than the original. Also, what I've just noticed here as well is that can you see between the, where it says check now, then above that is a thick red, thick line running through. It's meant to be like a thread line that's meant to help to prove that this is genuine. It's like a authentication proof. You can see here that on this one it's a bit very slightly pink, very faint, very slightly pink. You can see it running through there, and this one is very thick. Okay, and the stitching is very striking. All right. Um, just trying to see if they've got the name on the jacket here and they do not have the name of the jacket okay 
Um, they've even managed to got the, get the presser studs as well. And press those on the fake. Got it eventually. So they even managed to put that on the fake, which is annoying. One of the major ones that I always tell you. Guys, remember what I always show you about the Lampo zip track? You can see here. The Lampo, you can see there, it's just a crappy bit of plastic, some white kind of plastic bit at the end there. If we look at the original, we will know that they are using an original Lampo zip track here. Because you can see there's a little type of ladder here at the bottom. You can see that here. Crappy bit of plastic, some very thin piece of plastic rubbish there. No good. So that's another way, guys, that we can tell that this jacket is uh, a fake, okay? As well as that, I haven't even come across this model before. I don't even know what this jacket is meant to be, uh, to replicate, but um, it's not very nice. It's not a very nice jacket at all. So that's that, guys. Just thought I'd show that to you, because I did find this one on the eBay, and um, <clears throat> the, the seller was saying it's 100% genuine, it's real, blah, blah, blah. Bought it from the store, it's all real. It just doesn't fit, it's always the same story. But I could tell straight away that it was a fake, so I thought I'd better show you guys what that is um, saying. So that's that, guys. I hope you uh, found that informative. I'm going to be doing a lot more fake versus real videos. Um, I'm gonna, I've actually just got in a Ralph Lauren fake tracksuit that I've just got from eBay. The seller said it was 100% genuine. My mind is telling me it's not, it looks fake. And I've actually got a real Ralph Lauren tracksuit from House of Fraser, 100% genuine. They're all coming in. When they come in, guys, I'm gonna be doing a fake versus real video, show you guys how to spot the fakes. Okay, guys, hope you're finding this helpful. Um, like the videos if you think they're any good. If you wanna see more reviews, if you wanna see more designer reviews, store reviews, fake versus real videos, comparison videos, try on videos, trainer videos, all of that good stuff, just subscribe, guys, you know what to do. Okay, any questions, please leave your comments in the box. Every week I'll be doing a Q&A session so that we can go through all of the topics and all of the discuss discussions together. Okay guys, hope you have a good week. Weather's a bit dead today, it's raining, but you know what, it's all good. Catch you guys in a bit, have a good week and peace out.